Alright, I'm back. And, yeah. Alright, so we're left off. We're gonna go ahead and create another one of these. It was a map object card dispenser. Fly. Name, we're gonna call it. We don't, I don't think we really need name. Team, we want blue. Custom touch trigger. I'd go ahead and put it by smokestack. Actually, now that I think about this, um, go ahead and actually make this taller. There we go. Okay, so uh, let me just check the my map. Custom touch trigger, SSP dispenser. Okay, so go back here. Parent, make the cart. Custom touch trigger, we're gonna call it the dispenser. Okay, that's that. So then we're gonna need that object constraint thing. What is it called? I'm really sorry, there's just so many entities to try and remember. It's physics constraint. Wait, it doesn't. Oh, to train in a cart. No, right. This is. Yeah, that's what I saw. So, wait, what's this thing called again? Oops. God damn it. Called physics constraint. Entity one, we're not cart. And entity two, we want that other thing. Track train. Fly name. We don't need name. We're gonna go ahead and put that on the cart somewhere. I go ahead and put it somewhere where you can find it again. And I just lost it, god damn it. There we go. Okay. There we go. Uh, anything else? Angles. I don't have one of them. Uh, weird. Oh, I get it. Okay, never mind. That's everything, I think. Oh, wait a second. There we go. Okay. Um, now that's working. Yeah, let's see. We're going to go ahead and just call this constraint. Uh, let me just check flags. Go ahead and do no collision to break. God damn it, stop it. I hate when I can't click on the thing I want to go. Here I call this call. Right. All right, that's that. Um, go save. Save your work. Just to make sure I've got everything. Let's see. Uh, I'm not. Gonna, I'm just gonna leave out the flashing light for now. If you want to put it in, you can put it in yourself. Let's see. Uh, that should be everything. Okay, move on to world entities. There's a hell of a lot of them. Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these into my game.
and then I'll t walk you through how to do this yourself. And that's just because I'm lazy. I will go ahead and probably not. I don't know. File texture. Okay, right, paste. Okay, here are all the world entities. Sorry, okay. All right, so let's walk you through how to do this and make sure none of them are stuck in the wall. So, um. Yours will look like gray blocks, but I have the mod, I told you. So first we're gonna have a TF2 put down a TF game rules. It's gonna come up like this. You're gonna name it. I'm gonna just call it Game Rules. And HUD default, everything like that. Outputs, inputs, flags. God damn it, that did not copy the outputs. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Um, could be a problem here. Logic. Oh, that's from the logic auto. Okay, thank God. I was a little scared there. A little scared. <laughs> Did I not copy the logic auto? No. Oh, that's why. Okay. That's why, that's why, that's why. Alright, you know what? Just for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to just call this SS... Just like... It. Yeah. Alright, I'll walk you through everything, don't worry. There we go. Okay, that's why. So, uh, so once you get, you're gonna put down TF2 game rules, that's it. You just need to change the name. Gonna put down a team control point master. It's restrict, you need to restrict red from winning. Outputs, inputs, flags, nothing. Uh, switch teams on map win. Yes, scoring style. Add a team score for each capture point. That's important. Partial cap rate, 0 0.1 seconds. Did you get all that? Probably. We're going to get a team train watcher. And we're going to do train to watch. It'll be track train. And apply. Associated sparks. We're going to do sparks. You want handle train movement? Yes. Name. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Outputs, inputs, flags, nothing. And then node that the path ends I'll get I'll, we'll come back to the stuff later do not try and run your map until you finish everything by the way team round timer uh, you're gonna put this entity down time length in seconds whatever you want whatever you want you get the idea outputs on finished SSPL time end uh, blah 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 wait what one second what's time end One second. Let me go ahead and mark this. Oh, this is game round win. That's what, oh, he just called it time end. Okay, that's why. Uh, I just called. So go ahead and do on finished, and then you're gonna do whatever your. This is why I told you you need to be advanced to do this. By the way, you need to put down a game round win first. Call it like something. Team red. Switch teams on win, blah. Um, outputs on finished, then your game round wind entity, whatever you called it. And that'll be that. And then on setup finished, I don't have a setup gate, and I'm probably not going to do it for this map, but eventually what you do is on setup finished, you do setup gate open or enable or disable, something like that. I usually probably just use a logic, but you can do what you want. So that is that. Uh, filter class. Um, name player. Do you say the uh, disallow entities that match criteria? Filter class name player. 
flags, no, not flags. And go back to your trigger hurt here. And you should put a uh, filter name. You're going to want a uh, filter class. Was that what that one's called? Yeah, okay. So you want that in there. Alright. So you put that there. So then we're going to open up a. Uh, let's put down a capture bell. You're going to call it whatever the hell you want. Sound name HUD dot end round scored. No spaces. Um, nothing else changes. Play everywhere. Start silent is not lo loot. Those are the flags you want to check if they're not checked already. Logic Auto. On map spawn. SSPL game rules or whatever you call your game rules. Set blue team goal string. Un uh, number sign. Hash uh, hashtag. Whatever. Number sign. Gold rush underscore blue final. Uh, Wow, there's a lot. Of, if you can't see them, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to, you're going to want to go ahead and it's going to be on map spawn, SS or game rules, set blue team goal string, hashtag gold rush underscore blue underscore final underscore goal. On map spawn, game rules, whatever you call your game rules, set red team goal string underscore gold, uh, hashtag gold rush underscore red underscore final underscore goal on map spawn game rules whatever you call your game rules set red team roll one on map spawn SSPL or ugh, sorry game rules whatever you called it set blue team roll two on map spawn game rules whatever you called it set blue team respawn wave time three on map spawn game rules red team set red team respawn wave time nine those are the outputs okay okay build the name uh why why the hell that called filter on name ssp for one second let me just check something uh, real quickly. For the last thing, it's a filter. Filter name. SSP convert. Oh, that's part of the prop physics over it. Okay. Wait, let me see. Prop physics override. Um. Okay, so go back to your maps. And it'll just be called whatever you called the uh, prop physics override, which we called cart. Not apply, allow into the match criteria. That's everything, right? Let me just double check that. Yeah, that's everything. Alright, uh, whoops, textured. Okay, uh, that is everything, I think. Right? Is that everything? Someone tell me. I'm pretty damn sure that's everything. Alright, I'm going to control to save this. Um, so, um, next, let me just actually, let me stop. Maybe we've gone for 40 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop.